Good morning, YouTube family. Oh, I woke up, or I arrived here last night, and it was raining really hard. So, and it was dark. There's no way I was gonna set up the tent in a downpour. So anyway, decided, called an audible, slept in the car last night. I actually slept better than I expected. But anyway, we're at the Avalanche parking lot here at the base of Mount Yale a 14er here in Colorado, so we're gonna go get this done today, but uh, oh man, not the most ideal sleeping uh, arrangement, but we'll take it. I just love the fact that this little pile of gear on the ground is all that I need to go have a good time in the mountains. Don't need a bike, don't need ropes, don't need whatever else folks do in the mountains. Just a little pile of gear, basically running shoes. And today, it's again the Sense 6's SG, but later I am going to take out the Mafate 2's for my shakeout run this afternoon. So uh, just stay tuned for that. First impressions, Hoka, Hoka Mafate 2's coming at you sooner rather than later. Oh man. I gotta go take a shower or some, maybe go take a, a little bath in the river today because, you know, you get a little grimy out here when you're sweating and putting sunscreen on and dealing with the uh, forces of nature. Same as yesterday. All right, it's approximately 8.30. Took a little sleep in. And we'll see how much filming I do on the way up. Uh, just gonna feel out the legs after yesterday's effort on Pike's Peak. And bada bing, bada boom. Let's go get some vertical. Come on. You start on this and then you head left up Mount Yale. All right, here we go. There we go, top of Mount Yale. Oh man, feeling real good about that time. I'll get it to you back at the coffee shop in BV. Oh, and then tomorrow might be a Harvard Columbia day. That's that over there. All right, back down. Here we go. When I get tired up here on these mountains, all I have to think about is Nolan's 14. Oh, this crazy mountain adventure that I've tried a couple times. I haven't completed it, but uh, this is like, not a walk in the park, but it just puts everything in perspective when you've tried Nolan's 14. Holy smokes, all right, heading down. It's pretty, uh, pretty intense trail. I don't, I've never actually done Mount Yale from this, uh, tr from this side, so a little more intense than I was anticipating as far as rocks and cliffs and all that stuff. Oh yeah! 
yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, that's tiring. All right, round trip. We're looking at 257.58 car to car avalanche parking lot, Mount Yale. All right, I'll get you the ascent time at the coffee shop. Time for a latte. There it is, butter my bread, butter my bread, little latte. Oh, that's good. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let's upload this run, see how we did on Mount Yale. All right, there we go. I think uh, feeling organized. The car is pretty small, so I have to pack it in pretty good. Anyway, uh, let's see. So December 31st, 2018, I said this. Goal number three is directly connected to number two. It really, they feed off of each other. Goal number three, I want to, I want to set two more FKTs on 14ers in Colorado. What is, for, what is a 14er? In Colorado, we have 54 mountains that rise above 14,000 feet of elevation. So we call them 14ers. And basically, uh, I, ha I set two FKTs. And what is an FKT? That's an acronym for fastest known time. Fastest known time. So basically, through Strava, I can see the fastest times from the trailhead to the top of the mountain and back down for all the people who have... Uh, basically ran up the mountain as fast as possible and back down. And I was able to snag two this, this past summer, Mount Bierstadt and Gray's Peak. And so next year, 2019, I'm thinking Mount Albert and maybe... That's right. One down, one to go. I claimed a King of the Mountain, a course record today on Mount Yale. So that was one of my goals for 2019. And that's why I love being pretty specific uh, leading into a new year. And I know a lot of people don't like to do New Year's resolutions, but at least in the running sphere, I love, so I have like six goals for this year. And this is one of them, uh, is to get two uh, FKTs on, a four, on 14ers here in Colorado. So that is nice to get one of those uh, off the list for 2019 and listen. So my time was one, basically one hour, 39 minutes to the top for the Avalanche Trailhead, for the Avalanche Trailhead for Mount Yale. And Sage Canada, you all know who he is, uh, who runs for Hoka. He had a 150 uh, last summer, and I guarantee he was not going all out because uh, my effort was solid today. I wasn't going all out, but I was working for sure. And Sage last year at the Speed Go 50K absolutely kicked my butt. And so Sage is an incredible runner. It's all in fun, Sage. And uh, But nonetheless, I am proud of the fact that I was able to clean a FKT here in the Collegiate Peaks because in the late 90s, before Strava, before GPS watches, uh, before anyone really cared at all about mountain and ultra running. Uh, like it was a very, very niche. First of all, running is a niche sport. And then within running, mountain and ultra running is even more niche. So uh, nobody in the late 90s cared. But back then, I was tromping around these mountains, raising a little hell with my friends and with my brother, uh, just climbing and bagging these peaks here in the Arkansas Valley. So it's good to claim an FK. KT on my home turf, if you know what I mean. And yes, we're going to go with Yale. Shout out to all the Yale alumni. Do we have any uh, Yale alumni watching? Uh, Yale is the key word for this blog. And the question of the day, how do you, what is the number one uh, benefit or the number one reason you use Strava? So the app that tracks our running and allows us to compare times. So what's the, what in your running world, what's the number one reason you use Strava? For me, I think what I get the most excited about when using Strava is uh, seeing your pictures from around the world, seeing the beauty out there wherever you're running around the world, and studying the maps for where you're running. Someday, I would love to go travel to some of these spots and run your trails, run your streets, because they look absolutely incredible. So anyway, that's how I use Strava the most, is I just I just uh, flip through Demore Global Running, our group that we have, and I just am like, wow, that looks like an epic place to go run. So anyway, how do you use Strava? Hit it up down below, and okay, we're gonna take out, even though it's raining, I think I'm gonna push through, um, as long as there's no lightning, you know me and lightning, uh, and take out the Hoka Mafia. Uh, for their maiden voyage. There they are with a Kevlar upper. That's right. I can't wait to break these down for you as soon as 
possible. And all right, let's lace up before the, a real torrential uh, downpour begins. Oh, little crown, little crown today. So, so some, some terminology to know, in Buena Vista there's river rats, so it's basically rafting guides that literally, like they don't shower much, and they use the river as their shower or bath, so I'm just connecting to my roots here in my hometown of Buena Vista, uh, just rinsing off in the river, a little river rat action. So I love you guys, I gotta call it, guess what, I gotta go edit, upload, and go find a camping spot. I love you, thank you for being here. Fun day, good productive day of training, and we will catch you guys tomorrow. All right, sound good? Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. And yes, the Mafate 2 first impressions will publish as soon as possible. All right.